If you're an e-commerce company or if you're selling anything online, like if you're an HVAC company and you're selling, you know, Bradford White, Train, anything like that that people need to have installed or they can buy online, stay tuned because this update from Google is one you're already going to want to know about. It might actually be affecting you right now, Lance. Bernie, let's jump right into it, Bernie. Yeah. Well, Google's saying this isn't a core update. Thank God. But it is a core update. Yeah. That's... I mean, when you talk about someone's product reviews, and the problem is this, I'm going to tell you right now, 90% of you are so lazy, you want to go to the manufacturer and just get your product description and just think it's tell that them. simple. No, yeah. it's that simple. Yeah. Oh, uh, just get, get it with the manufacturer. Let them have, I'll, tell you. I'll give you the price, but you're going to get the description, the pictures. Can you just rip it from their website? Yeah. How many times do you hear that bullshit? Every day. Every hey, day. Can you just rip it from their website? Oh, I got it right here from the manufacturer. Just use this. Why don't you go kick the guy out of his store and take his store and tell him to pack his bags there also you while you're at it? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't work that way. What you put work into is what you're going to get back, and Google's saying it now. Yeah, they're seeing it. So number one, for if you have a product, they want really someone, an expert, talking about it or an influencer. Billy Mays here for what odor? Or you breaking it down, giving your expert opinion and comparing it to other products that are similar yeah. and saying what's the benefits and what's the pros. That's one of the things they're going to be looking at. Mm -hmm. Not many sites have that. The good sites do. Amazon already has that it's because it's Amazon. I know, but yeah. now they're really going with it, Bernie, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So... Now you have that, they want to know the sizes, the dimensions, pictures. If you can put video up on this, yeah. I mean. Uh, you gotta show people that you know what this product is, you're fluent in it, you know what's going on with it, how to use it, its applications, what makes it better. Like literally selling this product, like you're talking to somebody, you gotta write your descriptions like that. You hit a key word, what makes it better? I use the word unique. What yeah. makes it unique, better? What's your selling proposition? Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you put that on your site? Like, people just go and they just expect people to buy their product mm -hmm. or services. And this goes for the service-based industries. Say why you're a train dealer, break the product down on your site. Say why you're a ream dealer. If you're a dentist, talk about crowns versus veneers, what type you install. So when people are doing their research, you can see this. If you're in doing hair, which I got to get a hair, <laughs> some hair here, you know, talk about that you need the product and services. Is it PRP that you're doing? Are you going to do a blood uh, test first. All these different things you can jump into to separate yourself. You know, you got to educate people, right? That's basically what Google said. They're always talking about giving the best user experience, and now it's really coming to fruition with people's content on their websites, even with this review thing here. All about educating people, letting them know, like you said, what's unique, what's different. Bernie, all that happy Bernie's stuff. too smart for his own good sometimes. I know it's Saturday, he's probably hung over. He said, used the word educated education i call it talk about the timeline how the product has progressed how it's gotten better yeah how it's evolved over the years educate your people on why the company you're doing business with is also investing in the product and services that they're about ready to buy mm -hmm. and it's a long-term play for them that you're not just a one-shot johnny mm -hmm. i mean if you do this on your e-commerce site you're going to see your rankings go up organically drastically yep drastically i'm telling you right now what else, Bernie? Nah, same thing goes for the manufacturers. Like we hit it off with in the beginning. Like if you're an HVAC guy or if you're a contractor of any kind and you're installing products with brand names behind them, like you're saying, Bradford White, Train, all those. Make sure you put those descriptions in there when you're getting reviews. Have people describe them as well, like what makes them different. That way you're giving, number one, the best user experience. You're satisfying that algorithm and you're doing everything you can to make sure you're being found and chosen online. You know, you know, and it doesn't matter. Like, you know, think about this cars. Most cars aren't bought online. Exactly. I mean, I know some are, but most aren't. But if I had a dealership, right, instead of just putting, I'm just going to say, Denali up there or a Toyota Fancy. or an Escalade or, no, nah, even a, it doesn't make a Honda, whatever. Yeah. Talk about the fuel type, the economy about it, the type of keys. Put a video on it. Is it a smart key? Talk about the blue. Now we're talking. You know, talk, get into the, yeah, yeah. the minutiae. What's going to the sizzle? Instead of being sizzle. like, here's the car. Yeah, I mean, talk about <laughs> child safety. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you right now, you know, I was talking to someone the other day, and I didn't know the difference between a, there's a toddler seat, there's a six-month seat, there's a seat that faces, I got four kids, it's terrible to say. So right? all kinds of seats. I learned a lot of seats that you have, but put that in there. Separate yourself from yeah. everyone else, you know, and you have to. I mean, because what Google's saying here, and I truly believe this for e-com service-based businesses they're going to want you, instead of just a basic 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe 100-page website yeah. that you have as a small business, is you to start putting some time into your website and educating people. Because they know the more educated somebody is during that buying process, the more likely they are to use Google again. Yeah.
They don't care about you. Yeah, exactly. They just don't want their people going directly to Amazon. Yeah, they don't want Amazon. They don't want DuckDuckGo, Bing, none of that. They want them on Google looking for what they need. They do. And that's what it comes down to. How do we make Google more sticky? Mm -hmm. So if people say, well, I don't want to do that, then yeah, don't do that. You just won't be there. Yeah, you just don't get found. Don't sell anything either. A lot of people avoid bringing up their competitors because they don't want to make them famous or whatever. But we were just talking a little bit about this too. And why don't you tell everybody why they shouldn't avoid that kind of thing? Well, just if you truly believe in your product and who you are, just say what separates you, why the product's better, why it differentiates you. Um, it wouldn't be my first thing I put on my site, nah, but it would but definitely be something what separates me. If I'm if I'm trying to sell someone crowns over veneers, I'd have a page about that. Exactly. If I'm trying to sell somebody a um, Louis Vuitton bag over a coach bag, I'd probably have something about that. If I'm trying to sell someone a Rolex over a uh, IWC, I'm probably going to have a page about that. Yeah. Things, anything you can do that's good quality content to educate someone, and even not, I wouldn't so much put my competitors' names up there, meaning I'm not going to go put someone at a digital marketing company, but I definitely will talk about my SEO services versus other SEO services, yep. our link building versus other link building, our content versus other content, our PPC versus other PPC. Most people don't have the gateway to Google like we have. Yep. They don't have all the API. So, I mean, you really got to separate yourself, but this update, and I call it a core update. They say it won't. They say it's not, but it's already being rolled out. Make sure if you have an e-commerce business and if you're a service-based business that you start updating this Get stuff. On it's always it. going to help you. Get on it right away. Lance, thank you. Everybody, thanks for joining us today. On Saturday, we will see you next week or at the bar tonight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to follow me at Lance Bachman on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me on Facebook at Lance Bachman Digital. And every Thursday we drop a new podcast. Don't forget to listen to it. We're giving out great content. And remember this, this is the time to build your business right now. Let's effing go, everybody.